creation. I love her. <laughs> Four heads. I thought they were the testicles. Can you scream? <laughs> I have to make sure that I'm compromising time from other areas, so from my social life, from my house life, from work life and things. How does one manage that? Brought up a little bit of like past trauma, I guess. I don't know, it felt like someone had like shoved their fist into my chest and they were just holding it there. You need to get to 100 if you want to merge. <laughs> Internally not doing well. my day started I just wanted to um, get my Agnes vlog up and do the thumbnail and everything for that just so I don't have to worry about doing it tomorrow it's actually quite funny to look at what my old thumbnails look like compared to the new ones it's just so much better <laughs> so much better um, anyways that's on growth so this is the final creation I love her <laughs> It is now 10 o'clock. I am just gonna head to the supermarket now grab some groceries for the week Also want to get some snacks for pre-drinks this afternoon busy day from now on Oh, There's my on-site manager Lovely guy Shit, The car park is busy. Oh fuck yeah, there's no cars down here Nap, nope, don't want any. <laughs> Come on. I don't think I've ever sat in the middle before and I feel like I'm about to hit your roof. <laughs> What'd you say? It's been a long day and I don't feel like show. Oh. And oh. from that, mum has decided to sell my Sell my bed. Sell, sell, my, sell my balls. <laughs> sell my balls. If you play the, the dregs or whatever the fuck they are. Tommy, did you hear her? If you play the dregs or whatever the fuck they are. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be done. Oh, he loves the next Benny. That's your man. Um, what's I doing? Oh. Picture punch, oh. ah. <laughs> And then oh, yeah. we had, yeah. I remember you were on the, um, the game day tunes. 
<laughs> yeah, I think I played bonkers, didn't I? But he was like, you need to fucking pull your heads in! Ian! Look at this guy, like you're literally in two lanes, cunt. Just go to the next fucking light. And like, he's got New South Wales plates on. Yeah, that fucking explains it. Like, you guys both from New South Wales? I, would, I would not even let him in. Ah, uh, yes. Did you just insult me and say that I'm from New South Wales? Your family Wales? are. I'm not from New South Wales. Okay, I was fucking cabo, mate. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, what the fuck? Have you ever seen a kidless penis? And you only get your first times once. Why is there four testicles? Labelled one of the weirdest penises of the animal kingdom. <laughs> it's bright red, has four heads. Now Wait, there's four heads. conversations. There's that's four heads. I thought they were the testicles. Can you scream? Four heads. How is that logistically possible yeah. to fuck another echidna? Does that mean it's shooting out four loads? Yeah. Well, it would just the whole thing would go in, but it's got four little bits. There's no there. fucking way that's fitting in. <laughs> yes, it's so wood. I want to see. Can you please Google that someone? Please Google an echidna's vagina, like a female echidna's vagina. Not sure if I want that. My search is doing. Yeah, Take one for the team, please. <laughs> I think she's watching um, a kid in a porn. <laughs> Surprised you haven't looked up raccoon. During the mating season, During the mating season. Please help me. Do you me. fucking fetish? We would like a car park, please. Car park, please. <laughs> Shit, I don't make it. You'll make it. Plenty room on my side. You sure? Yeah. Oh, there's literally like heaps everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> side hole. <laughs> so I picked up a dress. It's very nice. <laughs> oh God, so. It's long and it's knit. Great, what'd you get? Funky. Funky. We love. Quite cute. Okay, cool. <laughs> Necessities, right? Really. Not the cruisers. It's a dress. It's long and it's knit. As I like. And contraceptive. Be safe, kids. Generation Outcast. Easy's Kanye West, I'm sorry. <gasps> oh, oh, she's a booty bitch. Dress is from Perfect Stranger. Shoes are famous footwear. Damn. And this ass is my mum's. <laughs> oh. 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 Outfit is from Laura Jackson. And my shoes are from Puma. Perfect Stranger dress. Just bought it. Lovely. Slow the back. Oh, hello. And trust all the laces have come undone, but the trusty new balances. Am I great? Hello officially for the first time today. <laughs> it's been a pretty uneventful, lazy day today. Went to KFC for breakfast. Came home, the girls left, I showered, um, and then I laid down on the couch and just had a nap. It is now 4.30, um, and I'm about to head out for a little solo um, sunset picnic date. I just want to enjoy the last bit of the weekend, so I'm gonna head to New Farm Park in Brisbane. It'll hopefully be a nice sunset with all the clouds there. So I got my fingers crossed for a beautiful sunset. But yeah, that is pretty much the extent of my day today. So I'll show you my quick little fit. Um, I've just got on this thrifted jumper. It's pretty baggy, so I've just tucked it in at the front. Um, got my favorite jeans on and my Birks. I'm gonna bring my headphones, might have a nap at the park, but it is gonna be good. So let's go on a little solo date. I think it's about six o'clock, quarter past six at the moment. So I've been up for about an hour. 
just taking it slow. I've been doing a little bit of housework, wash my face, watch the sunrise, just um, a few little basic me time things. Anyway, so I got my yogurt, got my coffee, and my gratitude journal. Um, and I'm just going to do that really quick. My life's changed since I started practicing gratitude actively. I highly, highly, highly recommend that everyone else gives it a go at least. Today I am going to let go of pressure to be perfect at everything. Um, and the reason I write that is just because I feel like a lot of the time I'm putting pressure on myself to be perfect in my social life, perfect in my work life, perfect in my business's life, perfect in my house life, like doing housework and washing and things and to be completely honest with you the amount of stuff that I do it's not physically possible for me to be absolutely perfect at every single thing at once sometimes I have to compensate for um, heavier workloads in other areas and so if I've got a really busy business week and I want to really really knuckle down and focus on my businesses then I um, have to make sure that I'm compromising time from other areas so from my social life from my house life from work life and things like that to compensate for that heavier workload. Um, today I am grateful for my friends, my businesses, independence, grateful for coffee, for my family, I'm gonna write family and Murph, he's my dog, <laughs> for my work and colleagues, for my income. Today I want to focus on productivity, getting back into my business work, present and listing. I will focus on kindness and inclusivity. Um, and the reason I write that is because we've got a new guy starting at work today and I started at that workplace. I was shitting myself that I wouldn't fit in um, and that I wouldn't be welcomed. So I just want to make sure that he feels really welcome today because there is nothing worse than being in a new environment and not feeling welcome. Allowing more room for positivity. I feel like in the last few weeks I've just let other people around me's negativity like consume me a little bit so I just want to make sure that I'm blocking that out where I can and <clears throat> allowing more room for positivity. Anywho, that is the gratitude done for the day. I'm going to move over to my desk now and get started on work. I'm just at my desk now um, and what I'm doing at the moment is planning my feed for the week. Um, so I've just popped a bunch of random bits and pieces in there. I think I'm going to do a giveaway this week um, and then also a sale next week. So now what I've got to go and do in Canva is create the graphics for the sale and then also for the giveaway. So I've just gotten ready for work and I was just brushing my teeth, about to rush out the door because I'm a little bit late and my electric toothbrush fell off the stand and it's gone down behind the washing machine. <laughs> this washing machine is so heavy I don't even think I can move it myself and I don't think I've got anything with like claws on the end that I could pick it up with. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's gonna have so much dust on it. Let's just hope the week um, carries on with a bit better energy than that because I don't need that type of chaos in my life this week. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um, I actually don't know how I'm gonna get that out. Fuck. Fuckity fuck, fuck, fuck. How does one manage that? Anyways, I'm gonna head to work now and hope that I remember to deal with that later. I've literally just got these like long black pants on, some slides, and my work polo. <sighs> Fuck. I just got home from work. As you can probably hear, I'm a little bit like, emotional, I guess. Found out something like pretty fucked up today while I was at work. Um, and yeah, it's just that it was something that I thought that I'd healed from, but like judging by how I'm feeling right now. I don't think I ever fully healed from it. Um, yeah, the day took a little bit of a different turn than I wanted it to. I do actually have an exciting 
delivery um, for Murph and Sex, which I'll probably open in the morning when I'm in a better mood because I don't really want to bring the vibe down. But yeah, I just want to say like I am okay. Um, don't think that I'm not. It's just um, a very complicated situation that's just brought up a little bit of like past trauma, I guess. I just needed to have a cry when I got home because I, um, yeah, just like I had to bottle it up all day at work. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to film some clips for TikTok at the same time, so I won't talk you through me opening it, but um, I'll show you once it's all open. I'm very, very excited about this. Oh, this is fun. Okay, cool. So, we've got this linen set coming, which I'm seriously so excited about. So, it's these little white linen shorts, button up matching top. But yeah, I think that would look really cute, like unbuttoned with a black bralette underneath. It's perfect to throw over at the beach as well. These shorts are so cute. I'm going to wear them all the time. That's the new stuff. I'm just going to do one more clip for TikTok. I might edit the video really, really quickly and then get ready for work and head off. Um, I do have a football game tonight, straight after work. So I finish work at five o'clock and then I've got a race from there. Hopefully I can get there in time. So I need to get all my stuff ready for that. Actually, I don't have anything ready for that. Anyways, I'm going to do this and then we'll move on to the next problem. Alrighty, I'm just heading off to work now. I've got my football bag and my work bag. Um, and yeah. I'm feeling a little bit fragile today, so I'm hoping that like people are in a good mood and I don't have to deal with any assholes because yeah, I don't feel very stable today, <laughs> that's for sure. Football game. Um, it's about a 40 minute drive from where I am right now, so hopefully I make it on time. I'm about to smash an apple and have some water and hopefully that'll give me a little bit of energy. I've got a bad bitch playlist on, um, so yeah, hopefully I can get myself in the zone because I really want to win tonight just to feel better. <laughs> Good morning. Happy... what day is it today? Oh, Thursday. It's Thursday today. Anyways, we won football last night. Oh, no, we didn't win. What am I saying? We drew one nil. Ah, uh, not one nil, one all. We drew one all at football. Oh, got there in the end. Yeah, I just, I felt really weird playing last night. I was already feeling, obviously, like, really anxious and overwhelmed and just a mix of shit during the day. Um, and then when I started playing, because I have asthma, my chest was getting, like, a little bit tight and it was really foggy, so... Um, I don't know if anyone else has this problem when they have asthma, but the weather changing is a trigger of my asthma So I was starting to lose my breath and my chest was getting really tight It was really overwhelming and I literally felt like crying um, At half time when I came off. I don't know. It felt like someone had like shoved their fist into my chest and they were just holding it there like I I don't know how to describe it, but it was awful. Anyways, I persevered, got through the game, we drew, so that was really good. I came home, I showered, and I rolled into bed, and I have just slept into 7am. And I'm still tired, so it's just one of those weeks. I really, really, really do apologise that this vlog is a little bit... I don't want to say negative, because I don't feel that I'm handling this situation negatively whatsoever. Um, and I don't think that it's negative to feel sad and angry and all that jazz. Um, it's just a normal human emotion, so that's why I am continuing to vlog and tell you how I'm feeling and update you because I know that there are a lot of people out there that are probably feeling the same. I am doing fine. I'm just trying to get through this little wave of emotion in my life um, so that I can move past it and onto bigger and better things. I booked in to get my hair done next week. 
yesterday I was just feeling really down and I was like you know what I have been thinking about it for a while and I just want to book it because I'm going through a little existential crisis and that always means changing my hair so at the moment my hair is this angle is not doing it justice but um when it's straight it's down to like my hips um and it's just getting ridiculously long so I've booked in to get a quarter head of foils um, I just want to freshen up this blonde a little bit. I'm going to um, make these bits nice and blonde as well. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go have a coffee, have some breakfast. I'm actually going to edit a reel on my phone that I took yesterday, post that one on Insta. Yeah, that's my update. <laughs> Hello everyone, <laughs> I just realised that I've been like working away and doing things all night and I haven't picked up the camera to tell you what I've been doing um, but it is literally 9 o'clock right now and I am still working on my computer um, so I got home from work about 5.30 and I've just been working my little life away since I am currently doing work for Caitlyn Jade Media um, so I'll be doing a couple's portrait session for the birthday girl and her partner. I'm actually just working on my website for Caitlyn Jade Media. I have been working on and off, well, I worked on for a little bit and then off for like six months probably. <laughs> and I've actually just picked it back up again. I really want to get it up and running because I think it's really going to be beneficial for the growth of that business. I've pretty much just found myself in a really creative headspace right now. So I'm going to ride that wave and just keep going until I get super tired and need to go to bed. But at this point in the week any creative energy that I can get coming my way I will ride that shit till it's done so um this is the home page it's just got a bunch of images on here I'll probably um change a few of them around with newer stuff I still need to add a few things to this but I've got my package pages then when you come down here I'll have my client galleries get in touch page that's not my image I need to update this page as well um but it's got a little form down here for people to contact me for my services. So I'm just going to keep working my little life away here. One more day at the office this week. And then I've got um, an exciting weekend actually, which I'll probably bring you along for. Saturday. It is about just before nine o'clock, I think. Just heading over to the south side now. Um, I've got a shoot this morning with um, a guy called Sam for um, a brand called Tech Grip. And once that's done, I'm gonna head back to the north side. I literally don't have an outfit to wear to the awards night that is tonight. That's the plan for today. And then once I've done that, I've gotta go home, do some work, do some cleaning, and then got a girl I work with coming over to meet me for some free drinks at like 4 or 4 30 or something like that I can't even remember and then we're heading to the office for more free drinks <laughs> and then we're going um, to the event that has pre drinks before the event which has drinks so um, my liver is fucked for tonight and we're just gonna roll with it Alrighty, I've just made it through here. I'm just gonna message him and let him know that I'm here. And hopefully he'll come get me, because I don't know where I am or where to go.
that was so quick literally in and out and done um he also gave me some free socks which is incredible fucking move move lady move lady move lady Hey everyone, I'm, I've just finished doing my hair really quick. I literally did really loose curls throughout it um, and I've just pinned it back so that I can start on my makeup now. Yeah, anyway, so I'm going to get stuck into my makeup now. I don't have enough um, battery on this camera to record it, so I'll probably just show you once my makeup is done. I haven't really decided if I'm going to wear my hair in a pony or down yet, um, but I kind of like it like half up, half down like this with these little curly bits, so maybe I'll do something like that. I'm not too sure. I was meant to have a girl coming here from work prior to going to the office, but um, she's running late, so she's just going to meet straight at the office. Um, so I'll just be over there once I'm ready. Alrighty, this is the update. I actually think I'm going to leave my hair in this slip back ponytail. I was going to pull some strands out to straighten them, but I actually quite like how it looks with the dress. Um, so this is the dress that I picked up from Glassens actually. I actually quite like how it looks with just the ponytail. So I'm thinking that I might actually just hairspray this and roll with that and heels. So I'll just zoom you in and show you what I've done with my makeup. Um, so for my eyes I literally did like orange, pinks and champagnes. Um, a little bit of brown in the corner. Super basic skin with quite a bit of bronzer. I'm actually really loving this ponytail right now, so I think I'm going to go and hairspray it and roll with that, and then I'll just give the ponytail a straighten before I go. But yeah. Alrighty, my Uber is almost here, and this is the final fit. All the lights are off, so I apologize for the lighting, but my Uber is one minute away, so I'm going to head outside and meet him out there. even deal with how I look right now. Good morning, happy Sunday. It's the next day and I'll be honest I'm feeling quite rough indeed. Oh, yuck. Oh god, this is bad bad. Yeah, anyways, it was a really really fun night. Um, we had so many mimosas, it's actually criminal. Um, and we're pretty much just on the dance floor most of Ow. the night. I do have to go to football today to take picks for the men's game so I might head out shortly and get some Maccas for breakfast just to cure my hangover. To be honest I actually feel a lot better than I thought I would like as soon as I'm trying to take photos and work I think it's gonna go downhill from there pretty quickly. It's also Mother's Day today so I need to give my mum a FaceTime. There's not really anything else for me to report. I've just got on um, some right away tights and my Elite 11 crop. <coughs> oh god, it's too fucking bright for that shit. I'm actually dead inside right now, like internally not doing well. Hey there, what can I get for you? Hey, could I describe a um, bacon and egg McMuffin in a meal with an extra hash brown, please? An extra hash brown? Yeah. And I'm can not I... drinking that one, sorry. Yeah, can I get an iced latte with almond milk, please? An iced latte with almond milk? Yeah. Is that everything? Yeah, that's all, thanks. You're right, drive on through. Thank you. Thank you, have a good day. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good day. Mm. That's better. Yummy. That's probably going to be the last of this video. 
Um, I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. <laughs> it was a bit all over the shop, I am very aware. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed anyway because obviously all weeks are different. Um, we go through highs and lows of life um, and I love that I'm able to document all of that. Mm -hmm.